Hi, got a little uh, teardown and uh, investigation of these uh, JBL, I think they're the Wave Flex earbuds, and these are my daily drivers. Um, these are very good. I like these. Um, I like the earbud design that like that, that just sits on my ear like that. None of this um, you know, silicon insert rubbish. I absolutely detest those things. They don't stay in my ear. They feel ri ridiculously uncomfortable. Anyway, I love these things. These are actually really cheap. They're about 50 Aussie uh, bucks and the battery life on these is really great. It's like 30 hours or something incredible like that. These went through the washing machine. Wah, 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 wah. So I went for a full cycle of the washing machine. They were in my shorts, obviously. Um, and <laughs> <laughs> didn't see them and yeah, so they've been through a full cycle and when they came out of the wash um, The earbuds actually did still continue to work because they still had charge in them and these are actually they're not waterproof But they're water resistant um, So I think an IP54 or something. I don't know something like that um, And the case is apparently water resistant too, but it's only IP2X or something. Um, so it's not water. These are not waterproof. So I didn't really have to uh, dry this out at all. I did take it apart. It just uh, clips off uh, like that, just around the edges here. And there are only like a couple of drops inside. So yeah, it looks like it didn't get uh, submerged anyway. But it did actually um, fail. And once I took it apart and I sort of blew it out and everything, and it didn't look like there was water ingress in there anymore. Um, then it sort of uh, came to life again and started uh, charging. There's a lead indicator on the front that it starts to charge and it was actually working for uh, quite a few days and um, but it seemed to be a bit temperamental when I actually had this case open the con connection was a bit dicky somewhere or something like that it seemed like it was intermittent in some way but now it's completely dead um, so it won't it will not charge at all so let me uh, let me show you. Oh yeah, might as well show you the rest of the design here. There's a lead on top there, that's multicolour, which then goes into this light pipe, which then comes out here like this. And then they've got the magnets on the bottom here, which uh, they actually physically hold in those, so they don't fall out like that. So yeah, that's really cool. There's a magnet in there, and also a magnet down in there. So that's pretty neat. And uh, then they've got the uh, little pogo contacts there, and they've got little pogo pins. You, yeah, you can see it go down there. They're actually pogo pins. So cool bananas. So if we apply power up the clacker and I'll make that lead dark and yeah, we got one flash out of it, but that's it. Um, and when I took it out of the uh, wash and tried to charge it, it was showing a dim red lead, constantly dim red lead. It wasn't like, so yeah, I'm not sure what that meant. So let's just have a squeeze inside here and and see what's what. There's no obvious signs of uh, corrosion or anything like that. I think it's been like a week now or something like that. So there's no obvious signs of any anything under the chips. There's, uh, I don't think there's any moisture. Any moisture trapped under, or under there? As a, that's just glistening, is it? I don't know. I, I haven't baked this thing. So maybe I could, uh, maybe I could bake it. And it might come good, but anyway, I just wanted to do a little tear down and have a little look ski in here, and it looks um, looks pretty decent. Although, although that ribbon cable there doesn't exactly look like it's in straight, does it? So I don't know. Is it that simple? <laughs> no, no, it can't be. Can't be. Surely. Ah, uh, here we go. Come up from this side here. There we go. Flip that up. And just take take the ribbon out. Maybe there's some there's no moisture, no obvious uh, moisture under there or anything. So <laughs> give that a little blow job and put that back in, shall we? I think that's good. And of course, it wouldn't be that because you've only got like the five volts from the USB over here coming over. So oh. Oh, no way, no way, <laughs> that, really, that was it, oh look, that one's on a tilt as well, look, no, I, <laughs> there you go, so much for any, any other issue there, that's great, repaired, <laughs> hope you like this repair video, give it a big thumbs up, <laughs> anyway. 
Let's have a look at the battery here. Spring power technology in Shenzhen. What's the rating on that? I think it's uh, 3.8 volts, 500 milliamp hour. There you go, 1.9 watt hours. As I said, the battery life in this, it's way better. I, I've got some Apple Gen 2s that I used to use. Once again, the earbud design, not that new silicon um, you know, insert rubbish. And uh, they were okay, but these, these, these beat the apples, um, hands down, in terms of battery life, usability, and uh, sound, pretty much. Because I don't, I don't listen to much music with them, I'm mainly listening to uh, audio. Um, you know, I stick it in, you know, when I'm walking to the gym, I'll put these on um, and uh, listen to a, uh, a YouTube video or a podcast or whatever. Anyway, uh, I've got some, just some foam under there, and... Looks like it does have some protection on board. Neat. Anyway, um, wow. There you go. That was it. That was it. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't touch it again. Uh, although that one's, I don't, oh, come on, get in there. There you go. And, well, that's, that's fixed. <laughs> that was too easy, wasn't it? Oh, goodness. Okay, let's see if this goes back together. And so this will go in like... So, yeah, still green flashing on the outside. Okay, so it looks like maybe when I originally took it apart, uh, just a little bit of, may maybe there's some moisture under the contacts and all I had to do was like take that out, maybe. Maybe I could have uh, dislodged the uh, ribbon cable in there, just a teeny tiny bit, um, and that was causing the intermittent problems that I was seeing. So, maybe. Maybe that's it. Anyway, all right, there's two screws there. I'll put the screws back in and put it back together. So there we go. Just screw those back in. So it looks like the only weak point in this design, really, if you can call it that, is the, uh, is the ribbon connector down there. Like they didn't blob it afterwards or something. That, that would have been nice, I guess. But anyway, as I said, 50 bucks Aussie retail. What's that, like 35 Yankee bucks or something? Freedom bucks? There you go, so that looks good. I'm gonna snap that back together. Bob's your uncle, look at that. I think we're good to go. Oh, and these and these talk at you, by the way. Hang on, I'll see if I can get it to talk. Yeah, I'm not sure if you would have heard that or not. There is the uh, JBL, I think it's the JBL Wave Flex. Because they do have like three or four different models or something ridiculous like that, so. Uh, yeah, Wave Flex. Yes, there you go. And yeah, I think it's absolutely fantastic, mate. In China, um, absolutely fantastic uh, value. Um, if you're into the earbud designs, I know everyone's ears different. For me, it's the earbuds only. Absolutely nothing else. The earbud designs are absolutely fantastic, and these are great. They absolutely they sound great, and the functionality is uh, really good. You get the single tap for like a pause. You know, um, somebody stops to talk to you, you can pause it and uh, take your earbuds out. And um, they do actually have, although one of the annoying things about it is by default, if you can change in the JBL app, by default they do have um, active noise pass, and like active speech pass through. So it, um, it like, you know, takes external sounds and uh, re-amplifies them. So there's a microphone on the outside here somewhere. So yeah, that'd be the microphone. And uh, it takes the external sounds and then um, passes it through. But I, I find it just sounds annoying. It's an annoying feature, so I just turned it off. Um, I can, I find that with these in my ears, I can still hear external uh, noises anyway. I don't like that noise cancelling bullshit. That's not what I want these for. These also do have noise uh, cancelling as well, I think. Although, is, is that a higher end model that has that? Not sure. Anyway, they do have several different models. I like the JBL Wave Flex. They're really cheap, and that was a really simple fix, and it survived going through the washing machine. So, yeah. JBL Wave Flex, thumbs up. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed that repair video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. <laughs> it's got the EV blog repair bloody curse again. So if it's something incredibly simple like that, you know, it was never going to be something more complicated, was it? Nah, I'm not that lucky. Anyway, catch you next time. Hello.